Hey everyone, how are all you guys doing today? I hope you guys are all well. My name is Arcane, and I am here guest commentating for the lovely Renaissance playing some Assassin's Creed for Black Flag multiplayer. It's going to be some deathmatch. And before we get into the gameplay, I'll quickly start out by briefly introducing who I am. I started actually playing um, Assassin's Creed from First the blood. multiplayer when it started in Brotherhood. I've been playing ever since then. I got well known when it came to the um, end of Brotherhood, actually in the start of Revelations, when I started posting onto YouTube. That's when I got involved with the community a bit more. And um, I then, a couple of months later, after, the, after Revelations, I uh, joined the Reckoners clan. And it's there where I met Renaissance, who is an awesome gamer, awesome to play with. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't played too much with her because she's mostly on the Xbox and obviously I'm on the PlayStation 3. Plus playing with people in different countries than me being in England, the time zones are a bit frustrating to actually get um, games in with people. But the games that I have played have been really awesome. Plays strictly for fun. No. Uh, you know, when you're playing like team games and you've got like people who start raging when uh, raging and they get a bit too competitive and they get really serious, I find it really hard to play with them people because I, I kind of panic a bit and I, I'm, I'm like, I have to do well in this game otherwise I'm going to let the team down. She's not like that. I play strictly for fun and it's awesome to play with them people, especially in team modes as well. So, awesome game all the way around there. So, we're going to get straight into this multiplayer match. Two of my personal favourites, to be honest with you, we're playing on um, Portobello, aka Bench City. <laughs> this map is probably the best map to get seriously high scores. There's benches all over the place. I was actually playing this morning, actually, and I was like getting like four or five bench kills, and they're all about a thousand points each. That is, that is, this map is crazy. And we're also playing as the Rebel which I always play as until I wasted my 60k credits on the um, navigator's outfit. Speak of the devil, he's walking right up to me here and he is going to mess up because he's destructed. <laughs> and yeah, I, I spent the 60k credits on his costume because to be honest with you, out of all the ones, that was my favourite one. All the rest of them were very good. Well, none of them were good, but his was the best out of all of them. <laughs> so, he's started to grow on me now, seeing as I'm playing as him a lot. But usually I do play as the Rebel Awesome character. So, let's have a look what's actually going on here. We're going to sit down here, wait until he comes to try get a bench kill. He's over there. Now, what's going to happen here is... We're going to run in for the bench kill, but what I've actually noticed as well is when you sit on the benches, you've got to run off run off straight away. Because I don't know what happens, you, you kind of get off the bench and you kind of just pause a little. Nice it's really good. annoying and frustrating, it happened to me quite a lot. Um, so just to take note there to the rest of you guys, if you're going for a bench kill, we're going to rush off that bench. And it's quite a long distance as well, so... But sometimes you do get that little pause which is a bit frustrating. But not to worry. Run my pretty <laughs> awesome. Funny um name for the ability set there, which we are using disguise, decoy and disruption. Obviously we sh all should be using disguise in deathmatch. Even though a lot of the good play a lot of the players are really good now so they can see through that, but it can still be a bit misleading sometimes. Des disguise is really good to use. Decoy we probably should have this crafted to 300 because that is, that is a killer. And for long range, we're using disruption. I I tend to use knives, um, but disruption is a good ability. If it works well for you, it works really well in this match. This guy giving us a load, I'm going to get slapped in the face. And I'm seriously annoyed with the L1 pump, which really cost her there. If that really flashy red L1 pump didn't come up, she'd have got that kill. And it actually happens um, later on in the game. We'll, well, I'll show you that. Where she gets two, um, two nice stuns, and then because of the L1 pump, she can't go in for that third silent kill. Anyways, let's have a look for this lady black. We've got two pursuers on her, so we need to find her quickly. It is a really large map with lots of places to um, lots of places to hide, so line of sight can be difficult on this map. 
And this guy's got no clue where we are. We're gonna get one stun and we're gonna get two stuns. Oh yeah, and this is this is it, this is the place where the lady black she knows who we are because of them L1 pumps, which should be removed from the game completely. That? Oh, he, oh, we fell for decoy. Yeah, we all fall for decoy. De decoy works really well in this game. We're not sure if we're winning. That's the main thing. Let's respawn back in the game here and look for this dude, which I do not know the name. Um, where is he? Come on. Reveal yourself. Oh, he's in our line of sight somewhere. Oh, there he is. We're gonna walk nice. Oh, hold on. This is this is the best part of the game right here, and this is this is this is nice. We're gonna go for the full whack here. Ouch! Look at that. That's nearly a two thousand point kill there. In every single game, which which I play anyway, you have like a bad time in the game, and then you have that boost where you just go way ahead of everybody else, where you know. Well, you know, you kind of guaranteed the win now. That there was the boost. Seriously, <clears throat> focus, a grab kill. You don't mess with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Focuses in this game, in this game, aren't really that um, that important as they were in the previous ones because you've got the multipliers on the um, variety bonuses, which are worth more. So obviously, you want to be going for them. Focus, you don't want to be risking it too much, maybe go for one just for the variety. What I'd actually like to see, and leave your comments below to think, um, to say your opinion on this, but I was actually thinking that um, a multiplier on the focus would be better than a multiplier on the acrobatic. Because it's, what is it, it's 1.5 for the acrobatic, but acrobatics are yeah, easily okay. easier to go for than the focus. I think you should be rewarded more for a focus than an acrobatic, so it's, they all can be... Um, Towards variety, but move that um, 1.5 over on the um, focus instead of the acrobatic. Therefore, you're being rewarded more, and people might go for focuses a bit more, which is more stealthy. And this game has in encouraged stealth a lot more than the previous ones. Oh, we both fall for. Oh, this, this, this part's hilarious. Both fall for decoy, and then she's gonna disrupt and get that stun in there. Which I think was one of her short clips. You may have noticed that if you were a loyal subscriber. I think that was one of her hilarious short clips. That was really funny. And we're well in the lead now. 7k. We actually take the lead and I don't think no one can take that off us during the whole game. Which is awesome. Right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go for a kill here. I think he pops on he pops on decoy or um, bodyguard because he makes it obvious by the sound. Should that sound be removed? I think it should. It makes it so obvious that they've released something and used rush into the kill there. Which the cutthroat did unfortunately. Not to worry. We are now on the navigator. And with oh, El High L1 prompt again, so we are going to get a stun here, I think. Yes. And that guy's using a perk to make himself invisible when vulnerable, but it's not going to stop us. We know exactly where we are. And we're just going to wait for our next target. Maybe we get a bench kill. One and a half minutes left. Oh, I remember this part. We get the Night Stalker, but something happens. She sat back down or something, and maybe she's she might not have seen him. It happens. But that could have been a that could have been another awesome kill there. But not too many. We've already we had one epic moment with that um other bench kill and that has won us the game to be honest with you, so one minute remaining. Let's see what we're doing in this last game match. Oh there the lady black. Oh we've got smoke bomb. I'm sure you can um, increase the speed of the smoke bomb on that, on, on that delay because I've seen some people use it and there's, there's really a short delay. Sometimes there's a long one but sometimes there's a short one and it's really hard to work out when to actually um, just rush in for that kill. So what I tend to do is if, as soon as I see that um, that first part of the smoke bomb release, I just 
cause where I am. I, I, don't, I just don't move. And then what a, a good tactic would be to just knife them so they can't run away, and then you'll be able to get your kill. A yeah, little tip there. I'm getting the lady black again. How many times are we getting this woman with three pursuers on it? The contract system is a little bit annoying. Though you've got to admit that. Contract lost. She's gonna run off because she can hear whispers. Oh. Whispers making it so obvious. I'm gonna try going go into the cornerstone, but that is not going to fool us, seeing as we are the initiated. We knew exactly know how this works. And that is the end of the game. Finishing first there, with I think 7,000, was it 900? Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to Renaissance, subscribe to me. And in the meantime, take care and stay safe, and I see you guys later.